Hey everyone, just wanted to do an update video. I made a previous video on how to make some cheap steel targets and uh, since then I've kind of upgraded how I've done it uh, mainly because uh, the way I was connecting the shepherd's hook to the steel plate with the rope was allowing too much uh, play back from the left to the right um, throwing those, um, you know, the, the bullet itself uh, possibly in the left or right direction which if you're in the woods or something isn't a huge deal but uh, when you're at a, a gun range you obviously just want the uh, bullets to go down uh, as much as possible so uh, what I did is I went to uh, the same place I bought these um, steel targets just a local salvage yard uh, metal repository type place and had them open the hole up just a little bit bigger for me so I was able to get the shepherd's hook uh, through the hole itself and hang the the plate on the shepherd's hook uh, directly without having any kind of rope between the two uh, and as you can see that uh, definitely helps with the the play back and forth to the left you don't have as much of that with the rope you can't spin it around um, it just really goes um, back and forth like that especially with the bigger one when you have a, uh, a wider um, steel plate it, it definitely will have a lot less play to the, the left and right just really uh, swinging back and forth which is ultimately what you want so that round is deflected downward um, so altogether you know with the shepherd's hook which was about fifteen dollars the steel plates uh, depending on the size those were about fifteen dollars a piece um, you know the paint and everything involved you know I really just have about twenty to twenty five dollars um, thirty dollars max each uh, on, on each of these uh, steel plate targets so um, as I mentioned before it's uh, you know I enjoy shooting the steel targets much more than than just paper you get that uh, cool steel sound um, and you you know if it's a freshly painted steel target you can definitely still see where you're hitting as you can see here uh, so definitely uh, a good cheap way of doing it if you guys uh, need some steel targets to make or can't afford the ones that are online this is a good alternative hope this helps you guys out if you have any questions feel free to let me know guys thanks